G'day and welcome to another bottom up boats splicing video where we take a look at how to tie a stronger soft shackle. To complete today's splice you'll need your sharpie pen, a fed, some whipping twine and a needle, a tape measure and some tape, your scissors and around about a metre of three to four mil single braid rope. Take your line with the ends taped to prevent fraying and find the midpoint and then get your sharpie pen and put on our first mark which indicates the top of the shackle. You then want to create a second mark indicating the diameter of the soft shackle. In this case we're going to measure out 20 centimetres. To create this mark you want to take a quick look at the reference table I've included which helps you calculate the length of line that you will require to recreate soft shackles of various sizes with different rope diameters. The next step in the process is to create the loop that closes the shackle at the top end near mark one. Take your fid, thread the line in and then pass it through on itself just the opposite side of the first mark we created. Pulling it through and tightening it so that your black mark becomes the very tip of the shackle. The next step is then to create the lock at the second mark which we made to indicate the diameter. Loosen the rope and pass the fid through before feeding the other end of the line in and then pulling it through. Then straighten out your shackle to normalize the rope. Pulling it uh, taut to ensure that the shackle line lengths are equal. To complete the shackle you want to get the tail of the line which wasn't marked and pinch it with your fingers in line where the diameter mark was. Take your fid and feed it through that line getting the tail which was marked, putting in the fid and pulling it through, effectively creating the lock component at the end of the soft shackle. With the shackle laid out horizontally, you want to take the top tail and pull it down, crossing over the first tail. You then take the second tail and loop it over on top of itself, laying the loop on top of the first one that you created. Then get the lower tail and then go under, over, and then under, pulling it tight but creating a hole in the middle which you need to maintain to complete the knot. Now what you can do is uh, pick up your uh, diamond knot, maintaining the hole that we created earlier. Lifting it up so that you can pass the tails around the back of the knot, coming back in front of the main shackle and then up the central hole. You then want to hold that while taking the other tail, wrapping it around the back of the knot, in front of the two lines of the soft shackle and then up through the same central hole. This effectively completes the diamond nut, but you now need to have a bit of patience as you tease the individual lines around on themselves, making sure that you pull the knot down to where we created the initial locking splice. It can take a couple of minutes to tease the lines forward, but it's really important to both get the knot up to where we created the locking splice but also to ensure that we can pull the knot extremely tight as it's been proven in testing that the tighter that you create the diamond knot, the stronger your soft shackle will be. With all of the ends of the line teased down upon themselves, it's now the final step to grab each of the tails and pull them as tight as possible. To get extra strength at this case, you could grab a pair of pliers 
to really put some pressure on it. This basically completes the shackle. If you now open up the loop at the top of the shackle, paste the tails and the diamond knot through it, and then close it up upon itself to lock off the shackle, which will tighten under load. The stronger soft shackle having two loops, effectively doubling the strength of the line and creating a stronger shackle than the traditional single threaded soft shackle. All that's left to do is cut off the tails that we use to create the diamond shackle and then get your lighter to uh, burn the end of the lines to prevent it from fraying, uh, making sure that the uh, diamond knot uh, stays tight. This completes our video on how to create the stronger soft shackle. If you found the video useful, please be sure to leave us a like and don't forget to click on the bottom up boats icon on the top left hand corner to subscribe to our channel, ensuring you get all future updates as soon as they're released.